Hi DC Ranch members, this is Heidi from the Golf Shop and I'm going to show you a quick demonstration on how to make one of the Rosie Ring DIY candle kits. With each kit you'll receive all of these ingredients. You'll have the coconut wax, a fragrance, the tin vessel that you'll put it in at the end. You're going to need some super glue or hot gun glue. Um, this is the only item that actually doesn't come with your kit. You'll see a sticker that you get to decorate for the outside and for the top. And then you'll have two popsicle sticks, the wick, and the um, color chip. So we're going to start by gluing the wick to the bottom of the tin. And uh, parents, you're probably going to need to assist your kids with this because it's not a parent-free situation when it comes to hot glue or super glue. Let's see here. Get this glued on. Hot glue is what they recommend um, primarily the super glue instead of hot glue. Okay, we've got the wick in place and now we're going to put the wax in the double boiler. I had to make one at home because I don't own one, so you put some water in the pan, turn it on. I started with medium just to see, and then you'll melt your wax in here for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, there we are. Okay, so we've let the wax um, melt for about 10 to 15 minutes, and you can see it's a nice liquid now. And throughout the 10 to 15 minutes, I have been whisking it regularly. So keep that in mind. You will need to have a whisk just to make the consistency even. And now we're ready to add our color. So the color of this candle is purple, and it's the purple garden. So we're going to go ahead and put the chip directly into the bowl, and then whisk it frequently until that chip dissolves. And you can see the wax turning purple. Shouldn't take too long here. So, so the color is nearly dissolved at this point. It just took a couple minutes. There's a little tiny piece left here. Okay, so our wax um, is blended with the color chip now. It's completely dissolved. And I'm going to take the aroma and pour the entire thing into the, the um, bowl with the wax. And this is charm and spice. So it smells great. Okay, so once our aroma is in there, we whisk it, stir it completely so it's very um, nicely mixed. And then we actually have to take this off of the stove and let it cool for just a few minutes until the temperature gets down to about a, 140 degrees. So I did get a thermometer to use and we'll monitor this for a few minutes. Okay, we've watched for the wax to cool and it's now down to around 140 degrees, so I'm going to pour it quickly into this tin. Hopefully I won't spill. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I got lucky. Okay, now the wick may not want to stand up all the way. You can see I'm having a hard time getting it to stay in place. So that's the reason for the popsicle sticks. I'll show you one second here. You'll actually use the popsicle sticks on top of the tin. Let me get out of the way here. And you'll hold those and hold the wick in place with those popsicle sticks. You kind of sandwich it kind of um, tightly. And that'll keep it in place. And now your job is done for the most part. You just need to sit and wait for this to solidify uh, in about four hours. And in the meanwhile, you can color your label for the outside of the tin and you can label the top with your name and your scent and you're all set to go. Hope you enjoyed.